You are now watching New Star TV. What's going on, New Star viewers? It's your boy, fashion stylist Jamarcus P. And I'm here with the talented and lovely, lovely Coco and Breezy. Hey, what's up? It's Coco and Breezy. How did the brand, like, how, how did it come to life? How was it birthed? Um, oh, go ahead, Coco. Uh, well, the brand was birthed at us, like, you know, we've always been into fashion. Us being from Minnesota, Minnesota wasn't really a fashion state. So we were always, like, expressing ourselves as designers and as artists. So one day, Breezy was like, let's move to New York one day. We had a dream ever since we were super young about moving to New York. Well, the way that we actually, like, created our eyewear was we were, work we were actually working on clothing. We were always just design clothes just for fun. And then I created the eyewear piece, and we created our sunglasses. It wasn't meant to be a brand. It wasn't meant to be a company. We made it for ourselves because we always loved wearing sunglasses. So I blocked ourselves and create eye contact with the people in Minnesota that never really understood <laughs> us. And because um, we were really subconscious and we really didn't have a lot of confidence, we, had, we were bold on the outside, but on the inside we were torn apart from people like making fun of us, or even like growing up in a suburban school like in Apple Valley, Richfield, in like Chaska, where no one was really into fashion, so they thought we were weird. And then on our 19th birthday, we went to New York just to visit, and people were wondering, like, oh my gosh, we're trying to buy these sunglasses. And so we're like, wow, this could actually be a company that we can move forward with. And so two weeks later, we went back to Minnesota. We were working at the Mall of America. We quit our jobs. We sold our car. We said, Mom and Dad, we're moving to New York. And they said, Girls, go for it. And so the first week of living in New York, yeah, the first week living in New York, Kelly Osborne and Ashanti were our product. And that was only three days after living in New York. And ever since then, it's been history. That's crazy. Beautiful. Beautiful destiny. Let me ask you this, what was, the, what was the name of the first collection that you all launched? Um, the name of our first collection was, well at first it was supposed to be Hamela Amor, but we named it just 2020. Hamela Amor means twin in love in Spanish, and our okay. mother um, is Puerto Rican, so we want to embrace our Spanish culture. But we, um, that, that's the name of our brand, it was supposed to be that, but people were like, well just use your name because people don't know what, what that name is. We use your name as like when you're first starting your line, People can, you know, they can focus on that more. We're really big on just like covering our eyes, but I think this year it was a year that we took our sunglasses off for the world because we're a stronger woman. But with every collection, we always have a storyline. Um, you all just debuted in the recent Beyonce music video oh, yeah. party. How was that? How how was it working with B? Amazing. She's so humble. I felt like she was just like a homegirl or something. What's been that proudest moment for you all so far? Okay, can I say a couple? Yeah. Okay, ah, so my okay. first proudest moment was actually getting on the plane and moving to New York, not having a job set up, not having a place to live, and just going. It was like such a adrenaline rush that we like left. But on our journey to moving to New York, we listened to Drake. And it was his first mixtape. You guys know his first mixtape was very inspirational. Yeah. So recently, like two months ago, we like are at dinner with our friend Keenan from SNL, <laughs> and Drake is like okay. sitting right next to him, and then like. Keenan's introducing everybody and he goes to us like, oh hey, and he's like, that's Coco and Breezy, and Drake's like, oh I know them. And so I'm like, across the room like, what'd you say? I'm like, <laughs> like I, I think right. he, like, and I was like, Breezy, I think he said he knows us. Then he walked over to us and said, like, yeah, How would you describe <laughs> your own personal style? I would say that we, we love wearing leather. We love wearing black because black is very simple and cheap. Our hair, our lipstick, and our glasses. So really it's funny because I'll be wearing, I'm wearing a t-shirt and a skirt and people think, oh you have such a crazy outfit on. But I don't, it's just like my hair and my lipstick that makes my outfit look extravagant. I love 80s punk and then we love like the future so we like kind of coincide that together. Yeah, yeah we, don't, we don't do our hair. Yeah, I just like, I wake <laughs> like up this. Me and it's yeah. cute. Mostly for parents, like you can let your kids express themselves at a young age mm -hmm. and that doesn't affect your education. Like, if anything, it makes them better because they feel more confident in themselves. Exactly. So we want to show that you can be artistic no matter how old you are. And that's why we created these pieces, these rib art pieces, for kids. You're watching U-Star TV, Mall Studio 23. Thank y'all for coming out. This is Coco and Breezy Insta. And you're watching U-Star TV. Bye.